a lot of the services you provide are free. Yes. Now, there are speculations that if a student applies through UNICEF to the universities, um, to the study destinations that you offer, their tuition fees to the universities they go to are raised to compensate UNICEF for its free services. Now, is that true? I can't imagine how one can even think like that. Mm. And the reason is this, mm. that at the end of the day, no matter how much we think or how big we think of ourselves, yeah. in the world, maybe we are a dot. Mm. So any university, any university that will take students from uh, East Africa or any country in the world, yeah. at the end of the day, is only a dot in their total number. Yeah. Because most universities have local students. Yeah. And majority of them target only 10%, if they can at all. Mm. And not many can do that to target 10% of international students. Mm. So when they are targeting 10% of international students and only some from Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania and all those countries, how do they get involved in this kind of uh, scheming whereby they penalize somebody who uses his services of an agency or a representative? Mm. They can't. They cannot have separate accounts for people. Mm. So what happens here is like I said earlier, they have a marketing department. Marketing department has its own budget. It can use that money the way it chooses. So it chooses in ways of coming themselves, promoting their institutions, and then letting, uh, having their own offices in these countries, or appointing people to do the job for them, and in turn compensate them for the work done. So. This money does, yes, all the representatives who represent the universities are paid. Mm. Nobody has ever claimed that they work for free. Every person gets paid. But the thing is this, that the money comes from the marketing department of the university, who in any event do spend monies, and they are doing this as a business. For them, they are appointing somebody to do their job. They come here, talk about their products, They've satisfied the students. There are now lots of follow-up things that need to be done. And universities are not equipped to have offices in every city. Yeah. So what they do is they appoint their representatives. They say, okay, now you follow up on this. Make sure that the student has all the facilities and is able to uh, get admission to the university. Yeah. And they compensate us. Just like they do with their lecturers, just like they do with their... They have accommodation. They have... Uh, thousands of workers, we are part of that team. Mm -hmm. Only we're not directly involved, but we do have direct contracts in that we do get paid for the work we do. Of course, if we choose to, we can charge, and many do, many mm -hmm. agencies do, mm -hmm. but that is for different reasons, mm -hmm. not because they do not get paid.